200,000 degrees in here. Who's done this? Who has done this? This is the inbox. It's, it's a show where you guys and I, and then we, and then everyone's happy. All right, so what I'm going to do is go through all your questions here on uh, Twitter. Um, so John D says, any favorite recent black metal bands? I will answer this offline because there are too many to mention, and a lot of people here on Tech Syndicate are just going to get really bored. Fallout or Skyrim? Okay. Skyrim with a ton of mods. If we're talking vanilla, just no mods, Fallout New Vegas all day long. Um, Skyrim has to have mods in order to be playable, in my opinion. Without mods, it's kind of a console game. Fun plot points and stuff like that, but does not have the creativity. It uh, does not have the quirky characters. It has some, but, uh, you know, the guys at Obsidian just really did a hell of a good job with New Vegas and making it feel uh, like something really special. Fallout um, with mods is even better, but Skyrim with mods is my favorite. How many toes do you have? Well, I have all 10 of my toes, uh, but one time uh, I totaled my car, and luckily we called a tow truck and they repaired my foot. To you get it? Tow truck? It's Portland with moving to for a graphic designer, says... Helix Faust. Okay, well, you probably said worth, but but let's let's make fun of you for accidentally typing the wrong thing, probably on your phone. All right, so Portland is a place that is worth moving to for anything you want to do, and it's all going to be uh, mainly about whether or not you like Portland. So let's let's talk about what Portland's got. It's got really good food, really inexpensive food, pretty good beer, nothing compared to Ver Vermont, but pretty good. Um, big variety. Lots of weirdos, uh, very open, like, culture as far as just, like, sex and sexual identity goes. Mountains, hiking trails, snow occasionally, but not really. And a lot of passive people who are just not that assertive and aggressive. If you're, if you're cool with all those things, then you'll probably like Portland, and it's also extremely nerdy. Now, you can come here and be a graphic designer. There's a lot of people, you know, moving here for these kind of things, so it's slightly competitive, but move somewhere where you're going to be happy and then figure it out after that. That's what I always say. It's kind of dumb and it's not as responsible, but at the end of the day, like being somewhere where you feel comfortable is important. So now a lot of conservative types don't like it here. There's not a lot of Applebee's and stuff like that, but you can find them in plazas, guys. Don't worry. You don't have to eat the freaking artisan stuff, you know? No one's making you put caviar on your tacos. Just leave me alone if I want to. I'm not going to. I ain't gonna put no caviar on my taco. Okay, what's the best, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the best Ultrabook is. I don't have one at the moment. If I had to get an Ultrabook right now, I really like the Huawei for the money. The Asus's are nice too. Asus's. All right, Kevin Campbell says, so what are you wearing now? I ain't wearing a damn thing. Are you getting any gray hairs? A couple on the beard and like a few right here. Um, yep, oh, all uh, somebody else's fault. Mm-hmm, yep, mm -hmm. yes, mm-hmm, yep. Uh, that's from Vasily. 62. All right. Chili Viking says, any news regarding the vlog channel? So if you watched a little while ago, we were postulating on the idea of creating a new channel just for like vlogs and stuff like that. And I could probably do an entire episode on what I've learned on YouTube, uh, what I've learned not to do on YouTube and the way uh, things work on the internet, social media and that sort of thing. But doing what I feel like a lot of the content I want to do on Tech Syndicate would not work because Tech Syndicate is a niche audience that likes technology, hardware, futurology, and sometimes tech conspiracy theories. I don't know. They like a lot of that kind of stuff. So doing just like stuff that in my opinion is more fun, like talking about Lego, talking about video games, talking about goofing off and all that stuff, that would have to go on another channel. We haven't figured out a name for that channel. And then there's also that little thing where I start thinking like, you know... If I start doing this, I'll have to be committed to it. And that's going to take even more time away from what I want to do, which is video games and make video games. That is not play them, but like make a video game. But then there's that other little voice that goes, dude, you got to make money. Even if we're a slave to something fun, we're still a slave, right? I don't know how that works. They call me film, 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 P-H-I-L-M. All right. What gives you the right? I'll tell you what gives me the right. I am a white American man. And that's what gives me the right. Did I tell him? Who Did I tell someone? I, I live in a basement. Are you working on a new Zweihander album? Started uh, two new songs in the last month. They're more of the metal style, but I have about 10 songs that are 60 to 90% complete as far as like a dark synth album goes. The metal stuff's just way easier for, easier for me to write because I'm not very good with the software. I'm better with just composing music 
So yeah, maybe a metal one, another one with like five, six songs and then synth wave. But I would uh, expect something on October 31st for sure every year. That's that's my goal, but you know, things get in the way. Would you recommend, so this is a moy sauce. Would you recommend the Pi NAS for a cheap NAS solution? Not particularly, the horsepower is just not there unless you're just using it for like media streaming and stuff like watching some movies. Uh, but even then, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it that much. There's a lot of options out there. I would almost rather go get just a cheaper used computer that has more horsepower um, and then installing something on there. I would not use RAID Z if you do that because you're gonna need a lot of RAM unless you've got tons of RAM. You need, you need about as much RAM, uh, I guess it's about, um, one gigabyte of RAM for every terabyte of space that you have. That's usually the rule when it comes to um, ZFS, RAID Z and all that. So free NAS with RAID Z on a box like that. If you got a lot of RAM or if you don't have that much hard drive space, that could work. Um, and I also, while I'm on this, do not recommend uh, the Raspberry Pi router. It's just, I mean, a, a router you can buy at the store for about the same amount of money or, or so is usually going to be quite a bit faster. They just, they're just not as fast as they should be for routing and, uh, it's an okay NAS solution, but I would not would not be my first choice. Joe G says, why? I'm still trying to figure that out, man. And, and you're pressuring me. Michael McKenna says, socks before boxers or boxers before socks? Joke's on you, I don't even wear any underwear. So the answer is obviously socks. Dude, it's so hot in here. I'm gonna call the police. Call the police. Speaking of hot, I'm wearing a jacket and I'm drinking coffee. Freddy Vugo says pancakes or waffles uh buckwheat pancakes man i like the hearty stuff probably my favorite and then you like the nice fluffy cakey pancakes don't you no waffles sourdough that's a good idea Ooh, ubuntu review that's a good idea uh, unified department but i'm not uh smart enough in the links world to do it justice but i could do like a hey i'm having fun with the ubuntu video because I'll be installing it on my new rig that I'll be building in about a week. Stay tuned. Build coming soon. Updating my rig. Woo. Is building with a uh, building a rig with a Xeon engineering sample worth it? I got quite a bit of use out of my Xeon engineering sample. Uh, I did actually upgrade to something with fewer cores and much higher frequency for gaming. Uh, but for things that needed tons of cores, it could really crunch a lot. And it was cheap. So it depends on what your use case is. For standard desktop or an editing PC, you're going to want a little bit more... Uh, frequency but if you're doing like server or something like that it's a it's it was totally fine i didn't have any problems with the uh, xeon engineering samples and i bought about five of them but uh, but uh, don't tell intel i'm not even gonna read your username because your username's <laughs> fatty pussy what is love your username sir you should know all about these things right love and sex are the same thing america i learned this from the media i have feelings I must put things inside your body because I feel so much. That's what love is, right? Right? Tabs or spaces? Uh, whatever's appropriate for the task at hand, sir. Oh, okay, now we've got some, um, some deep and meaningful stuff. And I've been deeply meaning to talk about deep and meaningful stuff. Any personal tips? This is from Tristan without any vowels. Dude, you had a vowel movement. They're all gone. Any personal tips uh, from you or your team on enjoying existence when existence seems dumb and you're not really up for it? There's this cheesy meme where it's like, you know, like modern people, like everything is meaningless. And then it's like, you know, the 80s meme where it's like, everything is meaningless. And that's kind of where I am. Um, there's a video out there on existential nihilism and it's pretty interesting. But the whole point of the video is that we don't know. We don't know what goes on. We don't know what happens after this. While we're here, why don't we try to enjoy it? Because that is something tangible that we can do. We can entertain ourselves. We can have fun. We can explore. We can learn. And we can do things that make us feel fulfilled. If you think about it too much and you think, oh my God, we're just this little speck in the universe and there's, you know, there's all this out there and we are totally insignificant. When we look at it from the broadest perspective and look at the entire universe, like Jim Carrey's been doing when he's driving himself crazy in that artist loft in New York and he goes, oh, I don't even know what it all means, man. That's the point. Just stop worrying about it and exist. And while you're doing that, try to be a cool person and try to have some fun. And if you got a chemical imbalance that won't allow you to do those things, take vitamin D. Going to make a new console killer? That's a good idea. Maybe. Uh, why the switch from free NAS to Synology? Last question. I will answer this quickly. 
Uh, the switch from free national knowledge, I think we answered, we've answered this before. Uh, I really like free NAS and I'm going to recommend it a lot for people who want to do home builds and people who are hobbyists and people who really get into tinkering and that sort of thing. Also, it's you know way less expensive than Synology. However, the benefits you get from Synology, um, less fuss, less headache. Things just work with a couple clicks of a button. The desktop is a nice li <laughs> The desktop environment is beautiful. Uh, if you want to install you know new things, you can do that. If you want to run Docker, you can do that. So it is, I'm sorry, I don't care what anybody says about free NAS. Out of the box, it is a more powerful platform. It allows me to do a lot of the things that you can do with FreeNAS, but a lot of the things that I want to do with the Synology in order to do them with FreeNAS, I would have to sit there and tinker and pull my hair out for quite a while. And instead of doing that, I'd rather spend my time writing, working on the video game, playing video games, reading, uh, or doing something creative. Guys, I'm a creative before a tech guy. And a lot of people think, oh, you got a technology channel. You must just sit around and nerd out about only hardware. I nerd about about hardware because it can do cool things for me. And the Synology does cool things for me faster. So therefore it's what I'm gonna use. It doesn't make me any less of a nerd. So if you wanna go and like, just rub your neck beard on the back of my head, off. All right, guys, any questions? Inbox at Tech Syndicate or just go over here and throw them up on Twitter. It's freaking hot in here. Turn that AC on. Everybody, while the AC's going, help us buy a larger AC unit. Mm hmm. By grabbing some of these. See, we help you improve your accuracy in games with this 3360 based Phoenix Swift mouse and this wonderful mouse pad. We also have beautiful desk mats. And you guys get that in exchange. We're going to upgrade our AC so we don't die of sweat soup poisoning.